Hi there, welcome to Roll, Tristan's my name, and today what I want to do is take you through the performance dashboard in Roll. Um, the performance dashboard is a hugely critical area of the product, and it's one of the key reasons why we actually built the product originally, was to help give us a tool that would allow us to understand what was happening in the business, and where as business owners and managers we needed to be spending our time. Um, and what you're seeing at, well, what you're seeing now is uh, the combination of what uh, Roll can provide you based on the information that um, is inputted into Roll. And it's really critical information that can help you actually make really solid uh, decisions uh, for your business based on proper data, on real-time data. Uh, and this is an area that's not available to anyone other than admins uh, or business owners in the product. So your, your employees or your contractors won't be able to see this data. Now, how we interpret it is reasonably straightforward and it's relatively simple but um, the metrics are again hugely important. So on the right hand side here we can see where our work comes from uh, and in this case of this consultancy firm we can see that we've got a lot of repeat business coming in, we get a lot of referral work, a little bit from networking and our website generates a few leads as well so a little bit coming in from social media. So one of the important things for, for business owners is actually to understand where they're getting their work from, what marketing activities are working and generating leads for new work for your business. Um, if suddenly, for example, your existing client work suddenly drops from 40% to 30%, maybe you've got a, um, a, a delivery issue with uh, your work and clients aren't coming back like they used to. So again, um, good information to help you actually work out what's actually happening in your business. Now, the middle information or the middle piece here is telling us what's happening this month. So the way Roll works, we're actually able to help estimate uh, how much you will be invoicing come month end. Now, this figure um, is not a hard and fast figure. It will change as month goes on, but at the start of the month, Roll is able to give you an indication as to what you're likely to end up with at the end of the month. Now, as a business owner, you know what your break-even point is, and if this is above our break-even point, then that's fantastic. If it's below, uh, then we've got an issue. But if we know that early, it means that we can actually do something about it and um, you know uh, jump in and try and make something happen in terms of closing some deals or getting some projects to some um, additional milestones. So this is really valuable in helping you actually understand how your business will be perform performing for the month. Um, and as a breakdown of that, we can also see how much has been completed and how much is remaining. Now, to the left of that, um, we've got our pipeline total and we've got our in-progress total. So this is our pipeline total is effectively our leads and opportunities for new work. And uh, our in-progress total is our actual, the value of work that we've actually got confirmed and in-progress right at this minute. And if we go back to the pipeline total, this figure here is a huge indicator in terms of how your business is likely to perform in the coming months. You'll, every business will get a, a bit of a cadence, you'll get a feel and you'll get a cadence going for the business and you understand what a, a good level of work and opportunity is in your pipeline. Now in this consultancy firm, um, $900,000 worth of pipeline work might actually be a good figure. If that suddenly jumps to $1.2 million worth of work in pipeline, um, as an, a, a manager or a business owner, I can be having a look at that and going, well, our pipeline's just gone up. We know that we cleared you know, 70 or 80% of the work that we, we quote, so we're going to get a lot of additional work come in. We need to start having a look at our resource. Uh, conversely, we can also... Um, infer that in the coming months we, our team's going to be really busy, They're going to, we're potentially going to have stressed staff, working long hours, that kind of thing. So you know, understanding what's happening with your pipeline um, is really, really important and this figure is an important figure to track. Um, at the same time, um, understanding what's uh, a good level of work for your engine is also important. So in this case we've got $1.5 million worth of um, work on the go right now. And that might, again, might be a good level for this business. If that suddenly goes up, then we've got a resourcing issue that we may need to address. If it suddenly halves, 
then maybe we've, we, we don't have enough work coming in and we, um, we basically need to put our sales hats on and, and go and close down some deals in the pipeline area because we've, we don't have enough work to keep our employees busy. So these figures are, are reasonably straightforward, but to bring them together in a dashboard again helps you get visibility on what's actually going on in the business and where you need to be spending your time. Now, at the bottom here, um, we've got our projected earnings graph. So role works extremely well with uh, time and materials billing, uh, fixed fee uh, invoicing, and also um, progress payments and milestones. Now, the the way it works with a new project is when we, when you set up your pro, your invoicing milestones and you tell role when you're likely to be invoicing milestones and uh, fixed fees and projects. Um, that data comes through to actually help build out this projected earnings graph. And we can see here that we've got a line that's, that's detailed here for our break even for the business. And then based on the projected earnings, um, we can see how we're shaping up in the months ahead. So if we have a look at this graph, we can see you know, September, if we invoice everything that we think we're going to invoice is going to be a bumper month. Um, October is going to be definitely shaping up to be a good month also, well ahead of uh, break even, which is fantastic. November at this stage is under our break even point. So not too concerned for it because it's a couple months away, but something to keep an eye on. And then uh, just leading up to Christmas, we can see there's a lot of work uh, we're trying to get out the door. So you know, it's looking like December is going to be a hugely um, busy month and potentially a really profitable month as well. And then um, over the Christmas period uh, and the Christmas holidays, we can see there's a bit of a, a, a slump and then we drop down to, to February where it's, it's dropping right off. So this allows us to sort of get in, and again, it's just an idea, but get a feel, get a sense, get an understanding of how our future is shaping up. And if there are any problems, it allows us to actually spot them early. And again, as a business owner or a manager, you've got time to then do something about it. So it's, it's information at your fingertips with the aim of giving you the, the right information to be making the right choices and the right decisions around your business and where you guys need to actually be spending your time. So that's a, a quick sort of summary on the performance dashboard. Um, thanks for watching this video. Uh, be sure to go and check out our other videos which have got lots and lots of helpful tips on how Roll can help you uh, manage your business and your workload and uh, run, run a better business. Um, uh, so be sure to go and check those out and uh, we'll talk to you again soon.